Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today is Wild Card Wednesday, and lately on Wild Card Wednesday, I've been making my way through my Bible and making use of the Bible margin art templates that I had created. And today I'm in Psalm 31, verse 21. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me when I was in a besieged city. So here's a quick look at that template that is still available over in my Facebook group in the files section. You can download it if you'd like to use it in your Bible. And let me just share with you how I used it in mine. So I simply traced the lettering that I had created into the margin, and you might notice that I actually scooted it downward on the page. And I did that because I had some extra room at the bottom of my page, and all I sacrificed was the reference Psalm 3121. So you're not gonna see that on my actual Bible page, which is just fine with me because I am going to accent the verse itself on the page anyway. So I felt like, let me just get that off the page so that I can get more of these buildings drawn across the bottom of the page. So you've seen this template before if you've been keeping up with me here on YouTube. And basically I just drew a city that was besieged, that was under attack. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, this concept of steadfast love from the Lord is hard. If I am honest, it is hard for me to understand how it's possible for such a good God to love me in such a steadfast way. His steadfast love never fails. He never gives up on us. It doesn't fade over time. It doesn't fade when I do something really stupid and sin against him. It doesn't matter. His steadfast love is with us. And in this verse specifically, I'm continually reminded that when our lives feel like we are just in the midst of attack, he's there with us and he is showing steadfast love to us. God is love. He is there. His steadfast love is present. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's just a hard one to really grasp a hold of. And so I am taking several weeks here to go through my steadfast love templates that I created because I just feel like it's a lesson I need to learn and it's a truth that I need to really make foundational in my own life. So here I'm just going in with some Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens and these are all fine tipped pens and they're all permanent. And I'm just adding those little tiny details on these buildings, some of which were in the original template, some of which I'm just adding as I go. You can see I expanded my besieged city under the words and up the right hand side. I just sort of wanted the whole page to convey this sort of ruined city look because it's such a good reminder that God's steadfast love doesn't fail even in a situation like this. So I added some siding, I added some brickwork, some roofing details, and I'm trying to keep this all in non-black colors. The only thing I wanted to be in black was the darkness inside the windows and the lettering on the page. So as you can see, I'm not actually going to draw in the smoke that is coming from this besieged city. In my template, I had drawn it in, but today I'm gonna to be using a new product that I just got, and it's called Brusho. And I'm gonna be using that to create some kind of fun, smoky effects on the page. So stick around and you can see how that goes for me. But first I'm going in with some watercolors here and I'm just adding some grays, some darker black, some brown, and painting over all those details that I just added in other colors. And what that's gonna do is just sort of darken up this city and make it look a bit less cheery and inviting. So if it was looking cheery and inviting before, it's not gonna look that way after I'm done adding some of these darker shades, earthy tones, everything's gonna become a little bit muddy, a little bit dirty, and that was kind of the look I was going for. 
As I continue painting here, I am adding darker colors to the sides of things because those portions of the building would be in shadow if the light was sort of shining on the front of the buildings. And so I am trying to be somewhat conscious about my light source here just to really give some depth and help our eyes interpret these buildings as three-dimensional objects instead of two-dimensional. But I'm not being super careful about it. This isn't a difficult technique here. You can do it in your own Bible. And I would love to see, have any of you used this template in a Bible of your own? Be sure to hop over on Facebook and share. Have you used any of these Steadfast Love templates? I know a bunch of you downloaded them and got a hold of them, and I just can't wait to see how you're interacting with the Lord and his word by using them. So here's the brush -o I was talking about. It's sort of a crystalline version of watercolor. And so what I'm doing here is adding some water to the page and then you sprinkle this on and the colors are not solid. So I'm using brown and black, but you can see there's orange in it, there's blue in it. And one thing I learned when I experimented with brush -o in the Bible on a page that has not been prepped is that you do want to sprinkle it on and dab it off really quick. Otherwise, certain colors in the brush -o do like to bleed through the page. So I tried to be as quick as I could there. And I think I got a couple spots on the page behind, but nothing that is going to get in the way of me creating on it later. I just added a box around that verse that I had mentioned before and I had a great time with this page. I hope this blessed you as much as it did me contemplating those times in our lives when we are in a besieged city that God's steadfast love never fails. Let's cling to that truth and jump into the word of God. It is amazing.